When I was growing up, I didn't care at all about cooking. My mom made sure that we had dinner in, in the house most nights and you know we would have Shabbat dinner. It was really in college when I sort of caught the cooking bug um, and since then cooking has been a huge part of my life and started to think about food from a sustainable ingredients perspective and that's really kind of that's what continues to drive me today. For the challenge, uh, my approach is going to really be to channel my my bubby and my, my great bubby, um, who they were improvisational cooks because that's just how people cooked back in the day. Um, you know, they cooked with what was around. They didn't have all these fancy ingredients. They just, you know, they, they cooked from their heart and it almost didn't matter what the ingredients were. Tisla and Lavana are both role models to me and so I'm really excited to be able to cook with them. You know, as an Ashkenazi cook coming into a Sephardic and Middle Eastern sort of realm for this competition, I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous, but I have a lot of that in, in my repertoire as well. So my approach is really going to be to just sort of keep it simple, you know, keep it from the heart and see what happens. I am a really big fan of, of Masia's work. Right after Hurricane Sandy, my husband and I biked down to Masia's headquarters and we helped uh, volunteer to cook. They're open to anybody. Like that really spoke to me. Um, you know, a Jewish organization that really has a mission of just caring for people no matter who they are. So I'm thrilled to be a part of this. When I was newly married, that's when I first got exposed to cooking. My mother would teach me the traditional dishes. And I really was so fascinated and intrigued by the meaning and the connections that the dishes had to the Syrian culture from Halab, from Aleppo. What I realized, it wasn't just Syrian food that was delicious. I realized that all ethnicities had delicious food. The Syrian philosophy of cooking starts with seasonal cooking. It starts with fresh ingredients. It starts with an understanding of where the ingredients came from. The competition at Masbia is not really any different than what happens to me in my kitchen every day and what happened in the kitchens of Aleppo hundreds of years ago. We work with what we have. So this challenge for me, it's not going to be really too different than me looking in my kitchen or going to the farmer's market or seeing what's in season. So yes, I always like a challenge, but it's not going to be like Chinese to me. Leah and Lavana are both experts in Jewish cooking. So I am looking forward to seeing what they will do and how they will handle the ingredients. And I always feel we all learn from each other. I am so looking forward to being in their company and it's not a competition, it's a celebration. Maspia, it's bringing dignity to people at a hard time. To be able to get a meal in a classy way is one of the highest levels of Sedeka. I feel so thrilled and so privileged to be able to be part of this beautiful event. Maspia is elevating the world. I think that what made me uh, want to be a chef, even after all my uh, degrees and everything I did in school, was the culture shock that I received when I got to the States. People were not cooking. I could not understand it. We were born and raised in a, in a culture, Morocco, that made everything from scratch. Everything easy, everything inexpensive, everything fresh. I wouldn't even say that I had formal training, but the fact that I spent a whole lifetime of observing and a subsequent lifetime of tinkering just made me, made me it. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the belief that good plus good plus good equals good. If you use very pure, untempered with ingredients, you're gonna win each time, and you're gonna go faster and cheaper. Beyond the final dish and everything is that the philosophy of the cooking should come through very clearly 
You know, I'm a really spoiled old lady. It was always a one-man show for me. And this time is a three-women show, and it's fabulous. I, I just want to see what other women in my field can whip up and how, what an honor and a pleasure it's going to be for all of us to be together. We're going to come out three winners because all of us together are going to be competing for the exact same cause that is very, very dear to us, that is Masbia. Here we feed the poor. All ages, all creeds, all colors, uh, everybody works side by side together. It's almost like a microcosm of what life should be. It's Arabs and Jews and Muslims and uh, Christians and working side by side, uh, eating side by side at the same table, halavai.